Hey, what's up, guys? This is MJ, and today we got to talk about what may possibly be the highest mileage Ford Fusion Hybrid. This is a vehicle I found out about on a group called Mileage Impossible, and that group is on Facebook. All right, so this group, people post about their high mileage cars that they own, and they talk about them. So let's talk about this one. This one is a 2019 Ford Fusion Hybrid. It has the original engine, transmission, and most importantly, hybrid battery. And it also has the original brake pads. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So drum roll, please. The highest mileage recorded to date is 400,420 miles. Oh my God, that's crazy. Let's look at this post. It looks like it's got an average miles per gallon, about 39.4. That is pretty good. The hybrids have regenerative braking, so they don't go through brake pads very often. This guy says, impressive for a Ford. Sir, how dare you? There are a lot of Fords with over a million miles. I saw a, a Ford Escape hybrid with 700,000 miles. It was a taxi. I didn't make a video of it because I couldn't confirm if it had the original engine and transmission. But this Ford Fusion, well, the guy says it has the original engine and transmission, so I believe him. And the hybrid batteries, they could last a long time. You know, I used to think it's a bad idea to get used hybrids because what if the battery fails? But I'm starting to rethink that. Uh, this guy says stay away from the EcoBoost. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of the EcoBoost, but I am a fan of Ford's hybrid technology. Their hybrid technology is actually very similar to Toyota's. But anyway, let's look at some more information. So here is Car Gurus, and we're looking for the highest mileage Ford Fusion Hybrid in the country for sale right now. And it looks like we got a couple with 251,000 for this 2017, 2018 with 248,000, almost 249. That is pretty good. We got 226 coming in, 226, 212. These are some really high mileage, and I really like that. So here's a first generation one with 194. That's pretty good. And this one is the second generation. Let's look at it. So this one is a 4,500. Does have almost 200,000 miles. But as we can see, the, the other one got up to over 400,000. So maybe it's not that bad of a pick. When these hybrids get high mileage, most people are scared of them. And that was including me. But now I'm seeing... Maybe they are capable of 300,000, 400,000, as we just saw in the first one. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. You know, you don't have to buy this one. I'm just looking at it. But, <laughs> but yeah, just, damn, that was nice. $4,500? Yeah, you know why? I think this, this is where the battery is in there. But, yeah, because people are afraid of the hybrids. So, maybe... Maybe we need to start expanding our horizons here, huh? What do you think? What do you guys think? Would you get a used hybrid? It might be okay. All right, so let's look at some information about the Ford Fusion Hybrid. So it looks like the Fusion Hybrid won North American Car of the Year for 2010. And it looks like they do have a plug-in version of this. Hopefully they'll bring this back. All right, so here we go. The second generation is the one with the two-liter Doratec. I think that's that's the one I would prefer to get. I like that two two liter door attack. And plus it's a little newer, so it looks a little cooler. All right, so the second gen has a lithium ion battery. And the Ford Fusion Energy is the one that's the plug-in hybrid. That one has an all-electric range of 20 miles. That's pretty good. Total range with a full tank of gas and a fully charged battery is 550 miles. That is amazing. So I like to plan ahead, and if I were to buy a used hybrid, especially one with high miles that's out of the factory warranty, I think it's a good idea to try to plan who is going to work on this car for you, right? Because you can't take this hybrid just to any old place. You know, most shops, I don't think they are trained or capable of taking care of hybrid cars. You know, I mean, you take this to Pet Boys and... They're probably just going to tell you to take it to the dealer. Definitely try to find a shop in your area that is capable of working on the hybrid even before you buy it because you don't want to get in the situation where 
you buy this car and nobody near you knows how to work on it. So, so this video is from Motor Week hybrid battery replacement with the green tech auto so i'm not promoting this company but i'm just telling you about it real quick and in service options drivers were forced to replace dead batteries at the dealership paying top dollar green tech auto's goal is to offer a more affordable solution all right so yeah green tech auto it looks like they have techs around the country that could come replace your battery but you definitely want to call them to make sure that number one that they're still in business and, <laughs> and uh, number two that they would be able to service this car in your area if you were to buy one now this is all automotive nerd research that you should do before you even buy the car so let's learn about this company their main battery pack distribution facility is in kansas city where they ship battery packs to their 21 shops around the country. All right, so 21 shops around the country. That is pretty good. Just got to make sure you got one near you. If that dreaded red triangle of death comes on, technicians here can save the day. They can come to you and install a new battery at your home, your work, or even if you're stranded by the side of the road. So we do have a proprietary method that we've developed in the last 10 years on testing these batteries. When we I got to look into, is there a way to test the battery before you buy it? Like, you know, the hybrid battery to see how much uh, charge it has left before you buy it. But let's learn about this. We receive a core from a customer. We'll go completely through it, refurbish, replace the parts that need to be replaced, test the batteries and Whatever we can use, we use, and we what we don't use, we recycle the okay. right way. Nothing. All right, yeah. So I think I think you have to take the battery out and take it apart before you can really test it. So that may not be possible if you're just going to buy a used one. But well, let's look at this company's website to see some more information about them. It's looking promising, I gotta tell you. All right, so this is GreenTechAuto.com. Looks like uh, they're all about saving the planet. <laughs> I just want to get a good used car. I think it's going to take more than that to save the planet, but but we'll go with it for now. All right, so Green Tech Autos, born in 2012, three brothers working at their father's auto repair shop in Sacramento, California, family owned and operated. They want to leave the world a better place for future generations. <laughs> okay, well, you say so. 25 business locations around the country, covering over 85% of the country. They are the indisputable leader in the hybrid battery replacement industry. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe they are making the world a little bit better, at least. I just want to get to work. <laughs> so it looks like they use new and upgraded materials. We remanufacture hybrid vehicle batteries. This consists of replacing all of the modules with new modules while reusing the electronics and related hardware where appropriate. This gives you the benefit of having a battery pack that is balanced and matched with the original capacity. All cells balanced and tested before we ship. Free shipping within the continental U.S. Your replacement hybrid battery pack includes a working charge controller and relays and sells as a complete package and will arrive in a charged state ready to be installed with no programming required completely remanufactured and re-engineered with upgraded materials all right so it looks like the warranty varies uh you'll have to contact them for more information about that i'm not really sure what the complete warranty is anyway yeah you could call them on the phone all right so anyway i'm not promoting this company they're not sponsoring me but Look, these guys in California, they love their hybrids, so maybe they're the expert in this field. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look, you got to go to the experts, right? So, yeah, if I were getting a used hybrid, I would definitely call them first, uh, call some places. You could call some other places to see, in worst-case scenario, if the battery were to go out, you have to have a plan in place to go ahead and get this thing fixed. So I'd like to see how much they cost approximately. So yeah, so you get a used one, 850, 2300 refurbished. And they're not looking like they're that expensive. Maybe a few grand. I mean, look, if you buy a used car and the transmission goes out, I mean, how much is it going to cost you to replace that, you know? 
three or four grand probably. We got some other ones for about three. So if you were going to buy a used hybrid, I would definitely try to plan this out. Where are you potentially going to get a new battery if it does go bad? Where are you going to get it serviced? Is that company going to be able to come to you? Do they have somebody near you? And if not, is there a shop in your area that knows how to do this repair? Find these things out before you go and buy a used hybrid. But I think as we saw, 400,000 miles, original everything. I mean, maybe if you get a 200,000 mile one, you could put another couple hundred grand on it. I mean, I like that. Worst case scenario, you got to replace the battery, three, four grand. Boom. You bought, you paid seven grand for the car, replaced the battery. Now, even still 11 grand. Now you got a car that could last you for another 10, 15 years. I mean, give me a break. So yeah, that's what I got for you today. If you got any questions, please put them in the comments. Thank you for tuning in and have a good one.